Okay, let's get into chapter five. It's a transport layer. One layer up. <coughs> and it's the end-to-end -end layer. The transport layer is not implemented in the routers. It's only implemented in the host. And the, the IP layer is implemented in both routers and also the host. But the transport layer only exists on the host <coughs> because it's end-to-end. -end. OK. And we look at the general issue that's uh, port multiplexing. So the concept of port should, will be bring out here. Uh, you have, so, so that's uh, the, another address. You can, you can view port number as another type of address. Okay. On top of the IP address, you, you've got another address. Uh, and it's used to multi multiplex several programs on the same machine, several process, several processes on the same host. Okay, that's port number. <coughs> and uh, another issue is reliability or error control. And then uh, flow control and congestion control. And then we'll talk about two major protocol. One is UDP, one is TCP. And UDP, you will see that it's very primitive. It's a unreliable connectionless tra transfer. And TCP is reliable connection-oriented transfer with uh, many mechanisms. Uh, so that it could be reliable and, and uh, reliable and polite. You will see what I mean by polite. <coughs> and you will see that uh, TCP could, could be quite sophisticated. A lot of study, a lot of research on improving TCP so that uh, it could transfer faster while still polite to the internet. So there are a lot of performance enhancement. We will see some of them, but n probably no time for all, all of them. Uh, and, and then uh, we move on to the talk about the socket interface, socket programming interface. And there are many, many sockets, many kind of socket. You will see uh, two major socket are TCP socket, UDP socket. You will see row socket. You will see uh, uh, Data link, uh, provider interface, socket. <coughs> and you will see a so-called routing socket to enable you to access the kernel, <coughs> the kernel data structure. Okay. And then at the end, there's a add-on section on real-time transport, which is uh, RTP and RTCP. Okay, RTP is a data plan protocol for real-time traffic. RTCP is the control plan protocol that used to that is used to uh, report the path quality. Okay, so one data plan and one control plan protocol, and in fact they write on top of UDP. You will see that uh, they write on top of UDP. Because the UDP is something too primitive, while TCP is something too, uh, too constrained, too complicated, too constrained. And there are some need that cannot be satisfied by TCP or UDP. So on top of UDP, they construct another protocol called RTP, RTCP, that provide extra support for real-time traffic. And we will see uh, these, uh, these two protocols, RTP and TCP. And actually, they are implemented in the library, a set of library functions, uh, instead of in the kernel. In T T UDP and TCP, you will see uh, in open source implementation, they are both in, implemented in the kernel space. Okay, but. RTP and RTCP, they are implemented in the user space, in the library. 
which will call TCP, no, sorry, UDP. So they are implemented in a, in a library, user space library functions that will in turn call UDP socket. <coughs> so in, in, in open source implementation, you will see that uh, it's not in the kernel, 